Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at a couple cool uh, techniques and tools that we can use while we're using our weldments features in SolidWorks. The first thing we're going to talk about is how we can change the miter of a joint. So let's go to our structural members edit feature, then select a miter corner. Uh, and they're represented by these magenta dots. And then we can change the trim order to generate a different profile. So you can see the new profile. Green check. And now we have a different corner, different miter at that corner. The next thing we're going to look at is uh, when we add gussets. So if we add a gusset to a weldment, um, we can change a couple profiles, so we can uh, let's make this three inches, three inches. Let's go ahead and add a relief at the bottom there, so we'll make this one inch and one inch. And now we have our gusset represented at the bottom. We can increase to a larger, we can increase the thickness, and we can also offset uh, a given amount. So that puts it right there in the center. And we'll hit the green check. But you'll notice that when you when you take this model and now you make a drawing from it, um, I suppose first we should update our cut list. So if we update our cut list, you'll notice that uh, you know this piece never actually makes it in, right? That there's there is uh, there's no option for a weldment profile for this gusset. So naturally, it's not going to add in the cut list. But what we can do is we can generate a bounding box that would populate it in our uh, cut list. So let's take a look. Let's make a drawing from this. And let's go ahead and grab the ISO view. Insert tables, weldment cut list, green check. And we get our cut list, but we are missing the gusset information, right? So this is indeed the gusset. And let's make sure that that actually is the gusset. Let's do a quick auto balloon. And you'll see that balloon 9 is pointing towards the gusset. So there, verified that. So how can we get that to properly propagate into our our cut list. If we go back to our part, we can right click the folder containing the gusset and tell it to create a bounding box. What that does is SolidWorks will map a profile around the gusset, generating the or representing the piece of steel that would be needed to create that gusset. And then, so when we update our cut list and we tab back to our drawing. You can see that it requires a plate that's uh, that's these specs, right? Half by one and a half by four and a quarter, let's say. I hope this helps. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.